Welcome, this is the Algebra 1 and of course practice test 3 question number 16. In this question I'm going to show you how to do it in a mathematically appropriate way. And then we're going to talk about how to do this problem if you have no idea what you're doing. The question says which expression is equivalent to x squared minus 14x plus 49 over x minus 7 for all x not equal to 7. That x not equal to 7 part just refers to the idea that when I have this sort of a fraction I can't have the denominator be 0 because you can't divide by 0. That's against the rules. So if I plugged in 7 for x here, 7 minus 7 would make it 0, which means that I can't have 7 be the value for x. But it doesn't necessarily mean that's defining our answer. It's just saying that it's just showing you all the restrictions that would be in the bottom part of the domain. So I'm going to rewrite the question very quickly. And this is the mathematically appropriate way to do it, or one of the mathematically appropriate ways to do it. Uh, the, the next thing I'll show you has nothing to do with appropriateness. It just has to do with the fact that there's a glitch that you can use in how the calculator calculates things. Anywho, uh, I need to factor the top. So it's like a little quadratic there. I'm going to factor it. I'm going to look at the fact that this sign tells me that in the answer, both of my um, terms are going to be the same sign. That's all this will tell you. If it's plus, they're the same. If not, it's 1 plus and 1 minus. So I'm going to end up with this x business in uh, my parentheses. If it's positive, it's either both plus or both minus. If that's the case, this sign tells me what they are. So these are both minus. Also, incidentally enough, if they're both the same sign, I'm going to add the two factors to get my middle number. So I'm going to factor this, and then I'm going to try to find this. If they are, if this is a minus sign, then I have plus and minus over here, in which case I would look at this sign to tell me which one of the two factors goes behind the plus, which would be the bigger one. So, anywho, if this was a plus, they'd both be plus. I'm going to factor 49 and stop talking. 1 and 49, and the big factors are, of course, 7 and 7. And I know that 7 and 7 equal 14, and you do too. So, x minus 7, x minus 7. So what I'm left with is a situation where it's almost like I'm canceling a fraction. If you have this, you can either do 5 times 3 is 15 divided by 3 gives you 5, or you can just say, oh, there's a 3 on the top and the bottom, so the answer is 5. Works the same. So I have x minus 7 here and x minus 7. So one of the two x minus 7s on the top cancels and on the bottom, and what I'm left with is x minus 7. 7. So my answer to number 16 is B. Pretty simple stuff. Now, what happens if you get to test day and you just forget how to do the problem? Well, there is sort of a, a different way to get it, or a not very mathematically appropriate way to get it, which is to use a calculator. Um, if you have a, a graphing calculator anyway, this tends to work. If you find your variable button and click it, as long as your x isn't equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, all you have to do to change it to whatever number you want is to go into the window of your graph, change your x max and min to whatever number you want, which is the negative and the positive. So if I wanted to change it to 3, I would do negative 3 and 3. And then I need to go into the graphing section and actually graph something. So I'd have to type in something with an x and hit enter. And then it just happens to work out that all of a sudden you're at, when you hit x, it tells you, oh, it's worth 10 now. Well, it doesn't have a lot of mathematical value. It's just defined by the program that sets up the graph, and it ha this happens to work. So what I'm going to do is type in the entire first part of the problem, not the uh, restriction, but the rest of it. And I can do that by making a uh, fraction. So I hit alpha and y equals on a T84. And if you don't have anything that can make a fraction, if you put the numerator in parentheses and divide it by the denominator in parentheses, it works the same exact way. So x squared minus 14x plus 49. On the bottom, I end up with x minus 7. I hit enter, and it gives me a 3. The reality is the answer choices, one of them will give me a 3, because they're all different. If two of them were the same, I'd have to start looking at restrictions, but there aren't, they've already defined the restriction for me. So I'm going to try the first one, x plus 7. Obviously not, because if it's 10, you want 10 minus 7, so the next one should work, which would validate our claim from before. And there it is. And the last two, neither one of them work either. But that's it. That's the way to do it. If you've totally run out of ideas and you're stressing out and you want to pass algebra, you want to make a good EOC score, and, but you just forget how to do it mathematically appropriately, uh, there's something you can use if you need to. Otherwise, use the other method because you'll need it when you get to algebra 2. So good luck.